Hey there, Jigsaw Puzzle Enthusiasts and you scrollers out there. This is Mark at MGCPuzzles.com and CustomMadePuzzles.com. Uh, today's video is going to be answering uh, a couple of quick questions. Um, and the first one is going to be uh, a couple people have written in to me and asking me what it is that I am wearing on my fingers when I am cutting my puzzles in my videos. And those things are known as finger cuts. Uh, a quick little story, um, back, this is going back about 23 years ago when I first made puzzles. I was surviving my first Christmas season, and when I handle wood and when I cut puzzles, you're basically constantly touching the wood, and uh, as you spin it through, whether it's the corner of a puzzle piece or a corner of a large puzzle, your, your fingers are constantly hitting these jagged little pointy spots as you're spinning the wood through the blade, etc., and when you're cutting puzzles for many hours out of the day, uh, your fingers kind of get tough. Your fingertips are sort of almost like you play a guitar or do some other kind of hard work and you develop calluses. And I had an issue where one Christmas uh, I had some calluses and one of them came off and my fingertip was extremely tender to the point where I really couldn't even pick up a hot coffee cup for a couple of days and I couldn't work for a couple of days. And I was at a photo lab and uh, the woman that came to the register to help me stepped away from uh, the photo processing machine back in the days when we weren't digital, but it was still film. And on her fingers, she was wearing finger cuts. So I asked her uh, if I could uh, have a couple, because I right away thought, well, gee, that might uh, help protect my fingers. In her case, she's trying to not get fingerprints on the negatives. But in my case, I was just kind of looking for something to protect my fingers. And this is what... Uh, I initially got from her and I mean obviously not this one but uh, anyway these are called finger cuts and people in certain industries will actually slide these onto their fingers and uh, they can do stuff with them so if you pick up uh, if you're spinning a puzzle piece through it it gives you a little extra grip as opposed to a finger which with the exact same amount of pressure has a tendency of sliding more so I, I find that without them I find it a little harder to spin the wood through the blade these give me a little bit more grip, but they also protect my fingers from developing, uh, you know, calluses, so to speak. And I, don't, I mean, I cut professionally, and you can see the fingertips. Uh, I don't have any, uh, they're kind of soft. You never know, I probably work with my hands for a living. So uh, anyway, I started to use these, and I basically used these for about 15, 16 years. But these kind of wear out pretty quick. I can go through, I don't know, a dozen of these a day. And I'll show you how the, you buy them. You buy them in uh, a 10 gross bag. So this is what they come in. See how many there are in a bag? I don't know how much, roughly $25 if I remember correctly, maybe 30. But you get 1,440 of them in a bag. See, 10 gross. And uh, they're pretty cool. They come in various sizes. And I get these back in the day, believe it or not. I bought them on the internet before Amazon was really popular. I imagine you can get these on Amazon, but I still got them from my supplier. I don't use this kind anymore, so maybe if somebody writes in and they want to buy a couple off me, I have about three gross of these. More than happy to sell them to you. Like I said, I paid about $25 to $30 a gross for them. And uh, well, they're just sitting around my shop, not doing a whole lot. So, but what I discovered is uh, they were wearing out on me pretty quickly. And I was looking for something a little bit more durable. And one day, just by chance, uh, as I was going through Amazon at this point, I came across industrial grade finger cuts. These are significantly thicker. And they do take a little more getting used to because you don't have exactly the same amount of, of finger touch uh, on them. But basically, they just kind of slide on your finger. They don't roll on so much. You just kind of open them up and stick them on there. And again, they give fantastic grip. And I don't know if you can see in the picture, but they are textured. So they, they're they designed to give you a little bit of grip when you're working on stuff. And once again, a pair to a finger, that's a certain amount of pressure right there. These guys don't wanna budge. So that's kind of one of the things I like. Plus they're extra duty. So these actually last me many months before I actually wear these out. The other ones, like I said, I'm ripping them, tearing them. Uh, probably one on one finger at least every 30 to 60 minutes. They're very inexpensive. You know, you get 1440 for $25. Whereas these, uh, they only sell 300 to a bag. And a bag comes in like this. 
and here's some markings on it for you. Uh, again, these are from Amazon, and it doesn't really tell you a whole lot, but anyway, that's the model number, and uh, so you can write that information down and search for them on Amazon. They come in small, medium, and large. Uh, personally, I use the medium, even though I'm six foot three, and I have a pretty good size hand. I find the larges are actually too loose for me. Maybe my thumb, but I don't use them on my thumb. I just use them on these two fingers. So mediums or for uh, smaller people or women, I would imagine you might want to go with a small. So these things are just fantastic. They last again for many months. Uh, I just switch them out once they finally tear or once in a while I touch the saw blade and it'll cut into it slightly. What I also like about these is they're, they're kind of thick. So I think they're 14 mil or something like that as opposed to the other stuff that's uh, it's a lot thinner and uh, they protect you from the saw blade not that you can't cut yourself but there's more material to these so the saw blade has to penetrate them and you actually get a fraction of a second I want to say maybe a, a tenth of a second or, or a twentieth of a second more response time to pull your finger away should you accidentally be touching the front of the blade and, and catching some teeth and uh, so anyway it won't protect your fingers from getting cut if you hit it hard but nonetheless gives you a little time to react they're fantastic i like them a lot i personally can't cut without wearing these things so if i ever go out with my saw to do a cutting demonstration i always make sure i bring a couple with me uh, otherwise my fingers get too slippery with the sawdust kicking around and the powder and all that kind of thing uh, hand handling the wood efficiently and accurately is uh, is a little bit more tricky so anyway so to answer your question those are the finger cuts and uh, i'm going to make a couple more videos here shortly the next one coming up is going to be about sanding the puzzles on the back side because when you cut a puzzle and i find one here that all right so let's see if i can let's get this to show up in the camera so this is a puzzle i cut that has not been sanded yet and i don't know if you look right at the edge of the cut lines you can kind of see it's pretty rough it's not terrible i'm, I'm using a seven thousandths blade but nonetheless uh, you don't want to be sending a puzzle out that looks like that so uh, here's one that is cut and also sanded and if you look it's super clean and it doesn't take much ever to do that so my next video is going to be on a very quick and easy technique that i use to sand the back of my puzzle pieces so thank you for watching, and uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. I am trying to reach 1,000 subscribers so that I can start doing some live videos, which you guys can then uh, log into and watch live and type text to me live, and I can talk to you live and even demonstrate some things that you might be asking me while I'm actually making the video. So please uh, subscribe and uh, tell your friends. I'd love to get to that 1,000 mark as soon as possible. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.